Look, I will acknowledge right away that this is a bit of a long shot. There's a lot of wishful thinking on my part when I'm interpreting this story, but there's still hope. Sony might make a new PSP. Alright, so on the 27th of April, Sony released its financial results for 2017. And understandably, because this hasn't been a focus of them for a very long time, their mobile division, the, the cell phone making parts of Sony, they're not doing that hot. And Sony felt they need to explain why they're staying in that market at all. And the reason they gave is 5G technology, the next generation phone, whatever you call it. Like we have 4G, we have LTE, right? Uh, 5G is gonna be the next big thing. It's gonna be faster. It's gonna allow for a lot of very interesting things and gamers should take note. So this is why this is relevant. This is what the report says. By enabling high-speed communication, low latency, and simultaneous connectivity, 5G, which is expected to be commercialized in the near future, is a technology which we view as having immense potential since it can connect all portable devices to the cloud. Okay? Go on. In order to fully utilize this leading edge technology, we need to retain in-house our fundamental research capability and capability to create related applications. By continuing to work on 5G in our smartphone business, we are aiming to develop 5G technology as a competency that can be used across the Sony group. So pay attention, they're talking about staying in the mobile, the, the handset market, right? Cell phones. We're gonna stay, we're gonna, we're gonna keep, this is, this is what they're saying. We're gonna keep making cell phones because 5G technology is very exciting. They talk about connectivity, having all your uh, access to all your content on across mobile devices. And then they say at the very end that this is a competency that can be used across the Sony group. So if they're talking about cell phones already, what is the rest of the Sony group that could benefit from a high speed connection that would connect all of your devices to the cloud to have you you'd get access to all of your things on the go that is outside of cell phones across the rest of the Sony group. It makes, to me at least, again, wishful thinking, I'm a huge PSP fanboy, but I do think that, that that leans me to believe that they are thinking about putting out a new PSP or a continuation of the Vita, which I find more uh, less likely because the Vita was kind of a commercial and critical failure, so they wouldn't carry over that name, I don't think. This makes a lot of sense when you think about it. PS Now, Sony's uh, game streaming service, is a far more robust offering today than it was years ago when it first launched on the Vita. So if they have a new portable device, a dedicated gaming device with access to 5G, which would be blazing fast and it would enable you to play your PSP, uh, your PS Now games on the go. So again, this would give you access to their entire catalog in theory, PS1 games, PS2, can you imagine PS3, PS4 and the upcoming PS5. So you'd have in your pocket a device that plays all of these games, including the next generation games powered by a 5G connection that Sony is clearly interested in applying to the Sony group. What was the wording again? That can be used across the Sony group. Again, this is in the context, they were talking in the context of cell phones and they said, you know what, we're gonna stay with the cell phone thing because this thing is interesting. This new technology, 5G, is pretty fast, it's cool. It could, it could keep your devices connected across the cloud. You can have access to all the things in one little thing that goes in your pocket and that could be applied to other things that Sony offers. So, what do you think? Now, yes, they took a beating with the Vita, but I think Sony is stubborn enough to try again. They aren't, uh, they, they don't really shy away from trying things that could bite them in the ass that could lead to financial loss just because they're interested in that space. Look at the PSVR. It's not selling that great. And again, I'm not a hater. I have the PlayStation VR, okay? But we all know that that was a big gamble by Sony getting into the VR space. It's not really mainstream. There aren't people rushing to buy VR, maybe on the week that it came out. But other than that, it's kind of like an experiment. They're like, you know what? This is kind of interesting. Let's jump in there. People have been debating, right? Like with, this, with the, the amazing success of the Switch, what will other companies take note of this and try something similar? This could be the something similar, right? Nintendo came with the idea that, okay, so the Switch runs things that are meant to be played on your TV. So like a current gen 
uh, system, video game system, but at the same time, you can carry it with you and still play the same title. So in the past, we saw watered down ports uh, of, of, uh, of traditional consoles. With the PSP, you saw a lot of PS2 games that were ported over to the PSP in a version that's not quite the real thing, right? With some exceptions, but by and large, you were getting watered down ports, right? With the Switch, you're getting the same thing. Whether you play uh, in your living room or you play on the bus, you're playing the exact same thing, but locally. What if the next step in this is a device that you can play not just your PS5 games, right? Uh, and not locally, but streaming across the internet using this 5G connection that Sony's clearly very interested in. What if that's, that's their answer to the Switch? So you buy your PS5, that's cool, but then they also have a, whatever they're gonna call this thing, because if they didn't wanna go with the PSP branding with the Vita, what would they, like they're, they're clearly not gonna call this thing Vita 2 because that would be marking suicide. And they can't go back to the PSP brand because I think that's gonna be a little weird. They're gonna be retconning the PS Vita? That seems weird to me to go to. It's like if uh, if Nintendo just came out with a new Game Boy. Like they that brand has been dead for a long time, right? So it wouldn't make sense to return to that name. But what if this is the answer? We've been speculating, a lot of people, portable gamers, right? We've been thinking like, what if what if Microsoft comes out with something like this, something like the Switch? What if Sony comes out with something like the Switch? And it's not like it would be the first time that Sony is mimicking what Nintendo is bringing to the table. If you remember, uh, the 6-axis, the infamous motion controls in the 6-axis, this was a direct response to the Wiimote. So it's not like they never tried to mimic what, what Nintendo was doing. It wouldn't be a first exactly. I don't know man, a new PSP with a blazing fast 5G connection allowing you to remote play across, not needing to be tied to a Wi-Fi connection. You'd have, you pull this, let's call it a PSP2 out of your pocket, you have a 5G chip in there, you're getting access to all the content you already bought on your upcoming PS5 along with other games in the Sony group. Your PS2 games, your PS3 games, PS4 games, all beaming right to your, again, the PS2 we're calling it across a blazing fast 5G connection, remote play, PS Now, it, it, it makes sense. Am I, am, I, am I crazy? I want that, I, I want this. The ability to run every game in the Sony portfolio on a portable device that you carry with you in your pocket, that's streaming it uh, out of the cloud using a 5G connection, so you're not tied down to uh, the things that you have physically with you, you have access to all of these games. And you can play the same game on your uh, on your PSP2, on your PS5. I, I want to see this. This is exactly what I've always wanted, way back in like Game Boy days. The idea to just play a Game Boy game on the TV or play on the go, that is incredible to me. That's why I love the Switch. And this to me seems like the next the next the, the direction that we have to go. Well, what do you think? Am I crazy? Am I like I said in the beginning, okay? I admit that this is a long shot. Okay, maybe they're just talking about cell phones. To me, the wording on that seems like they let slip that the context was cell phones at first and then they are like, and this is uh, also useful for other things in the Sony group. And the only other thing in the Sony group that would benefit from something like 5G is a portable gaming device. What what else? What else? What else? Tell me. Okay, maybe I'm crazy. I fully admit that. But tell me in the comments. I really want to know what is your take from this. If you're if you're skeptical, if you don't think that Sony would try their hand at this again, in in I know some people might be thinking, look, Izzy, maybe maybe it's kind of like halfway. Maybe it's not that they're coming out with a new PSP. They are going to expand PS Now and Remote Play to cell phones, right? That's still in the Sony group, like the Xperia line. The reason I don't buy that is because Sony seemed way more keen on trying a portable gaming device than a cell phone that plays games. We had one Xperia Play. Wasn't that great? I looked into buying one. You know what? It doesn't do anything that my PSP and my GPDXT don't do, so I kind of skipped on it. But think about it this way. Sony put out the PSP 1000, the PSP 2000, the 3000, several color variants of those, the PSP Streets, then what else? Then the Vita, then a Vita redesign. They tried several times to nail the portable gaming console, whereas they tried the whole cell phone to play games thing once and only once and never went back to it. If I were a betting man, I would say that if Sony is thinking about using 5G connectivity to stream games to something, History tells me that they seem to like the idea of a portable gaming console more than the idea of a cell phone that plays video games. But again, I know I'm crazy. I, I just, I want another PSP so bad. 
You know what? I wouldn't be like this. I wouldn't be like this if Sony hadn't screwed up the Vita. I would have a Vita right now. I would be happy with it. But they messed it up. So now it's like, it's like when you taste something bad. I, I'm hitting my lights here. It's like when you taste something bad and then you need something else to get the bad taste out of your mouth. This is it. Give me a new PSP and and we're, we're, we're even. How about that? How about that, Sony? I've been buying your shit forever. Just give me, give me a PSP too. For the love of God, I have so little. I asked for so little. Anyway, that's all that my computer was making noise and it stopped. I wonder what that means. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Am I crazy? Is this viable? Who knows, right? Stranger things have happened. If you like what I do here, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, hit the thumbs up. This helps the channel so much. I really appreciate the people uh, who do this. And that's all the time I have for today. I'm Izzy and I'm done.